Good afternoon. I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde has the day off. New details this evening out of College Station following Monday's deadly shootout near the Texas A&M campus. It left three people dead, the suspect, a bystander, and the Brazos County Constable. Now, law officers from across Texas and beyond are paying their respects to a man they're calling a hero. KXN's Omar Lewis joins us live from College Station with our top story. Good evening, Robert. This scene is still very active a day after these tragic events have taken place. Now, Brazos County Constable Brian Bachman's body was taken to Travis County yesterday for an autopsy. Today, his body was returned back home here to College Station, and now this community is mourning his loss. For the Austin Police Department, it's a pain they felt not too long ago after losing one of their very own back in April. Down. Still shooting us. We're getting further. A call that will forever change an entire community after the loss of an officer. His loss is just really devastating for our family, and it's uh, just uh, just stunning to know that uh, he's gone. One that has this community banding together. Sergeant Brian Bachman's body was brought back to College Station after an autopsy in Travis County. Heads hung low as his casket was brought into the funeral home. The Austin Police Department has sent heartfelt condolences, while APD officers help escort the constable on his final journey home, their way to try to help a community deal with the pain of his loss. A difficult lesson learned with the fatal shooting of Officer Jaime Padron. Now flags fly at half staff across College Station as the city is now leaning on one another to get through these tough times. It's just, uh, you know, incredible how, you know, people step up so quickly. Hayden Boehner attended last night's memorial at Texas A&M. He says yesterday's events were a call to action for this community to help pay respect to a hero gone too soon. Brian not only was a good father and a good husband, he was a Christian man. And so we know where he's going. Then we'll know we'll join him there some some days. Now, two other victims were also involved in this shooting. They are still in hospitals, local hospitals here in College Station. Now, one is listed in critical condition, and the other, another officer who was shot, is listed as being stable right now. Now, the family of Officer Bachman is making arrangements here in College Station at this time, and the sheriff's office is working on setting up a memorial for Bachman's children. For now, we're live in College Station. Omar Lewis, KXAN News.